This is just an overview of the electronics for this project. I'm using KiCad for my schematic and PC board layout. The electronics for this project end up getting spread over two PC boards, a motor drive and a control board. The motor board was going to contain everything, but I did a lousy job of making alternate access to the microcontroller pins. The motor drive board microcontroller is a 44-pin DSPIC 33EP family chip. Plenty of processing power to run this thing. Not running those unused pins to some pads for easy access was a mistake I shouldn't have made, but I did learn quite a bit about doing SPI board-to-board -board communication around some noisy little motors. With both probes pushing 15 pounds, I needed about 14 volts and 1.7 amps, so I'm using a 15 volt 4 amp supply to power everything. I'm not using a 5 volt rail, so U12 is a 3.3 volt regulator, and U10 is not used. So the LM317 is set to output 6 volts to feed the 3.3 volt regulators. The control section had connections for an encoder with switch and an SPI or I2C OLED display. Now the connections are used for the limit switches and the SPI interface to the control board. I try to label modifications I make to limit the wondering of what I connected to where. The motor section has two L6203 full bridge driver ICs. I have the current sense pins connected to the comparator pins on the microcontroller. I thought that I might be able to control the pressure by controlling the current in the motors, but after a little bit of testing it looked like that wouldn't work. If I had put some SMD jumpers in the lines, those pins could have been used for other purposes. The load cell amplifier section is composed of two analog devices, instrumentation amplifiers, and an op amp to drive the reference pin on them. Unfortunately, I only used one op amp to drive the reference on both instrumentation amps, and it turns out I need a different reference voltage and gain for each channel. Not really surprising since the chance of me making two load cells that are nearly identical was a long shot. So the reference for each amp has to be set by the ratio of these two resistors instead of by software. The gain of each amp is set by the ratio of these two resistors. I'm not using any capacitors on the input there doesn't seem to be any high frequency noise. I am using an RC output filter and it did seem to help a bit with the low frequency noise. The output of the filters goes to the ADC input on the microcontroller. The data IO section has been changed to an open drain active low output to trigger the CD welder and an active low input for the foot switch. The microcontroller on the control board is from the PIC24FJ family. It really didn't need to be a 16-bit microcontroller, but I wanted to keep the code similar between the two boards. And on this board, I did connect all the microcontroller pins to pads, so making modifications will be easier. Well, some modifications will be easier. Turns out adding filter components on the SPI interface, not so much. I had about 16-inch long wires connecting the two boards when they were laying on the bench and there was no problem with SPI communications. But once the boards were mounted on the weld head and the connecting wires were close to the motors, SPI communication was shot. I ended up using some shielded twisted pair wire run away from the motors and some software modifications to get me by. Now the encoder and switch and the OLED display are on this board. And I did add a Serial or EE prom to store settings in. Eventually, I expect to go back to a single PC board, but before I lay out a new board, I still have quite a bit of testing to do. There is probably a lot more I'll need to change than just the load cell amp section, but if anyone is interested in these intermediate PC board files, I can post them somewhere.